Hi, good morning. Um, since we are in India, the Mahindra Group may not need an introduction. We are a SUV maker, a tractor maker, and world largest tractor maker, actually, in finance, uh, Tech Mahindra, and growing businesses in logistics, real estate, hospitality, uh, two-wheelers, three-wheelers, and uh, defense. Across all these, AI is not new to us. AI has been around. We've been doing it around four or five years, whether it's to make cars safer and more intelligent, or to focus on precision agriculture, helping farmers to produce more from their land, or for housing to be more sustainable, or holidays to be more enjoyable, or finance to be more inclusive. We're bound by a common purpose, which is around ethics, sustainability, inclusion, coupled with technology and customer centricity and innovation leading to impact. Since last year, we've been on the AI journey, especially powered by Gen AI, and have rolled out multiple assistants and co-pilots, helping the employees, dealer salespeople, service engineers in our dealerships, or shop floor supervisors in resolving customer queries better. Just late last year, we brought it all together with something we're calling Mahindra AI, which is to build a central nucleus powerhouse working with all the businesses to unlock the value of AI. Today I'm presenting two latest use cases we're working on to scale. If you look at our auto business, we have 12 brands, the Scorpio, the Bolero, Thar, XUV, EVs, which we launched last week, and commercial vehicles as well. We do around 2 million communication with customers who are people who've taken test drives, wanting to buy the car, or still wanting to know more. How do you engage the customers better? In the classical way, what you would do is you'd probably have a standard query response after they've done a test drive, or a call center will call them. In the new agentic AI way, you have a multi-agent approach to it. There is a reader agent or the user agent which reads all the after test drive feedback. Then there is a creator agent or segmenter agent which segments using the customer data platform, the CDP. Then there is a writer agent which writes a hyper-personalized you know, communication to you. Then there is a reviewer agent and the orchestrator. And then when to send out the call or the WhatsApp message or the email at the right time to the customer. This, in the classical way, for two lakh customers, you can imagine it took us too much time, and how cookie cutter it was. You can now imagine with this, each of these agents are trained to the Mahindra values, the Mahindra intonation, the, the brand philosophy, and hyper-personalized to the customer. So if somebody had a test drive, and in the test drive, feedback wrote, my son loved the Thar, especially in the red color, then the play is on that. In the old world, you could never do it. You had to thank him for the test drive or thank her for the test drive and just say, when are you buying the car? In this, small nuances of the test drive experience become hyper -personalized. So this is working very well. My favorite here is the reviewer agent, and it has become so good, we use it offline as well because it's trained on the Mahindra brand. It's trained on how to pick the best. So even for our offline campaigns, the brand manager for Thar, this is done on Thar actually, the brand manager of Athar will get from the agency all the, you know, the, the copies built already and put it on this and let the reviewer agent, which is in the agentic workflow, do the review. And it picks the right, it scores the models on which one is better from a company fit point of view. So this, in this case, and it does explanation on why this model works better. So it says that this image will most fit the thar you are trying to market because of the following reasons. It explains, so it's explainable AI. Why did the agent pick up this particular model? It explains the thar stands out, the, the, the structure on the back, the brick structure on the back adds to the element of adventure, and the tagline adds on to it. So this is working very well where not just the agentic in the multi-agent model, but even the agent by itself adds a double value to what we are doing. This is a sales and marketing example. The last example I have is in Mahindra Finance. Mahindra Finance uh, is a large financer for rural and semi-urban. We do around uh, one and a half lakh loans every month, for which, for compliance and KYC, you're, you're supposed to call 
each customer back and record the calls so that if, in case there's an inquiry later, you can use those calls. We were so far doing a sample 10%, 15% sample based verification, which means a human will listen to all the calls and verify all the fields which are important for KYC. We have moved to 100% compliance now by AI doing all the QC. So all the calls are done by human agent as a, as a first round recording, and then there's 100% compliance on QC done by AI. And this is a multilingual. All of this, the previous one as well as this one is a partnership with Microsoft, built on Azure AI uh, and OpenAI 4.0. This is a multilingual as well. We've got lots of call you can, calls you can imagine are in the rural and semi-urban. And it hears the call fully, and from the call, figures out the key fields, which are around 15 to 20 fields per call, including the name and the address and the PAN and whatever else, and confirms to us. So the second is a compliance use case. So in the first use case, we have around 20%, 25% lift on customer engagement. On the third use case, on agentic, which I spoke about, this one moves our compliance to 100% where if we had any issues earlier based on sampling, we are able to now settle it. Both of these are very, very new, and these are new capabilities where six months ago, in case you were talking to me, we will not be able to do it. And these are all new things, and you know, thanks to Microsoft uh, and Azure AI to be partnering on this. Thank you very much. Mohit, can I ask you one question? When you think about the kind of expertise you're bringing in, has it changed the way in which the performance of the employees has, has uh, altered? Um, Absolutely, I think it, it has taken away a lot of the grunt work and freed up employees to do lots of other creative work. Um, also, the first one I spoke about, uh, the reviewer agent helps a lot because you have, you have to do lots, lots of reviews to figure out what, which one works better. So the grunt work freed up, frees up time, in my view. I think that's the big, best thing for employees. If you can free, and customers equally. So if you can free up time and measure time freed up, cumulatively we do millions of hours of uh, time field freed up across customers and employees put together. So to me, I think that's the single biggest advantage. That's fantastic. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.